On this episode of Rise with Rowdy, we check out the Dodge Charger, 2012 Dodge Charger Police Pursuit. This car has a lot to offer for the money. We're gonna get into it on this video. During this year, 2012, the horsepower on this car was about 370 horsepower, 390 foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty impressive. This car's got a lot to offer for the money. I picked this one up, uh, getting ready to drive it for emissions, as always. Very, very clean ride. Once you get the sticker residue off, inside of this car is very. Inside of this car has a lot to offer as well. This car comes equipped with all the Dodge goodies. Owner's manual there. But the Charger is a full size car as well. I've already reviewed a. Dodge Charger once before. I did go into the junkyard and I got that center console out. Put the center console in. You can swap the, the shifter from the steering wheel to the console. Just got to get some extra parts, but I figured for right now, I put the console in it. That way somebody can enjoy it with the cup holder and they have the console. The back seat Lots of room back there. So this car is pretty much identical to the V6 with the exception of the engine. This one has the all famous Hemi, 5.7 liters. Let's take a look at it. There she is in all her glory, the 5.7. So let's take this thing for a ride. Let's see how she, she rides out. Now, one of the things I do love about these Dodge Chargers is you get the uh, push button start. I do really like that. And I've got a tire light on, so we've got to get that address before I go ahead and list it. But all in all, the car rides pretty good. Like I said, it's similar to the V6 that we, we uh, drove, but with this one, we get the, uh, the full, or somewhat of the full charger experience for not the uh, Hellcat money. So with that said, you can put a wrap on this, you can repaint it, nobody would ever know but you if you do a good job that it was, at one point in time was a police car. So I've got one buddy of mine, he, buys them up wreck the uh, Hellcats wreck and he'll put the seats and stuff in it and you would really never know but all in all man the, the car is good for the money uh, the Charger has just got one of those type deals where you you really really like the body style and you got a lot of options as far as what you can do to the car as far as wheel options paint options decals it's just it's just endless. So for somebody that's going to do a lot of customization, I would definitely recommend going with the police pursuit because you're not going to be in at the full amount with somebody that's got a Hellcat or an RT or a 392. You get a lot of different options and performance wise, you're good too. So we got the good light. We're going to stop on a little bit, see what we got. She likes it. Hey, that was quick. She jumped up there pretty quick. Man, she, she likes to get up and go. It's got a nice sound. This car's got no exhaust on it. It still has a really nice sound. I think my only really complaint with the car, and you could probably change it out, is it almost feels like I'm driving a, um, a lower truck very boxy um, going off around the curves it's very responsive on the curves but I was expecting a little bit more on the police pursuit on the V8 but it almost feels just like the, uh, the V6 with the exception of you get more horsepower more torque which is that's what the boys want this thing drives really good
<laughs> All right, yes, yes, yes. You can tell a big difference between this one and the V6. This is, wow, the 370 horsepower, 390 torque. That's pretty much a well-balanced engine uh, as well, but you can really feel that horsepower. It really kicks in. Uh, this car basically turns into another animal as soon as you get over about 60, 65, 80, and it's just like it wants to still go, 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 which is very impressive. Uh, as far as the ride goes, the ride lives a little bit to be desired, uh, meaning that it does not ride as good as the Crown Vic. The Crown Vic just rolled like you're gliding on air. But this has a stiff ride. It almost reminds me like you're driving a truck, but uh, being that it does have the police package on it, uh, you get some upgrades as far as your braking, your suspension, um, your hoses and stuff like that. They're built to last a little bit more, longer. They're, they're, built, they're built a little bit different, a little bit more heavy duty, if you would, uh, as well as the alternator and the, uh, the other alternators too is, is a little bit different. But all in all, man, this car is, is, is pretty impressive for the money and there's a lot of upside to this car being that it's a V8. So you can put your wheels on it, wrap it, get it painted, you know, make it yours, you know. Also, it's pretty much the same identical as the, uh, the V6 as far as the amenities and the options with the, uh, the radio there and the uh, controls on the steering wheel and then also uh, the keys. Uh, I've got two sets of keys, so it does come with the keyless entry, remote lock, and you can un undo the, the, the trunk. But all in all, man, this thing is just... Woo! And she's, oh man, that's impressive. I love it. I love it. Man. <laughs> yeah, for the money, yeah, I absolutely love it. So that's going to do it for this episode of Rise with Rowdy. Appreciate you guys riding with me. Rowdy Ross, right now. Thanks.